The goal was coming back stronger. I wasn't, um, but I, I came back. So it's something that to be proud of. I work hard on, on, on the rehab. Coming in the middle of the season with so many changes from last year to this year, uh, even if it was the same team, it was like a different uh, role or, or type of, of, of game for me. Uh, with Donovan and DG uh, having the ball in their hands so much. So uh, adjusting. Uh, knowing that this summer um, I got more time to really focus on on rehabbing again, but um, then um, knowing what expected from me next season. And um, being here from the beginning will help getting the rhythm as well. Um, and like I said, sometimes I'm the hardest, uh, the one who critics criticized me the most, um, but I came back from an injury, so it's not easy, it takes time, um, it takes longer than I expected, uh, so this summer I want to work hard really to come back to myself. Mentally working through that, especially kind of as the season was going on, how difficult is that because you know, if it wasn't as fast as you wanted it to be, how did you handle that aspect? It's, it's hard, mentally it was hard because at the end of the day, uh, work hard to come back but then I don't have the minutes that I, I needed to or, or make the mistakes I need to do because it's not preseason it's the real season so it's a little different I uh, didn't have a training camp um, didn't have much five on five until I played the first game in Portland so uh, it's a little different you don't get the rhythm that I, uh, I was expected uh, and then when I was having the rhythm back then um, also break came that I thought it was a good idea but uh, maybe break my my rhythm again so now looking back I wish uh, I would have done maybe a couple things different but um, it is what it is and, and looking forward for next season what is it that's painting you right now what is it that's sticking with you right now uh, A lot of stuff, of course, uh, like I said, I can blame and, and pinpoint some things that I didn't like, but at the end of the day, I'm the hardest one on myself, and I, I was on my best version. Um, because of the injury, of course, um, and I gotta get that rhythm that um, I always say, like, sometimes I'm not in a rhythm, I get a couple free throws and, and then I get going. Didn't shoot much free throws this season because I, I, in the beginning I was afraid of the contact or whatever it was. Uh, so I, 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 uh, I got to be better in a lot of areas, but at the same time, um, I'm, I'm happy that I'm playing back basketball and NBA. It's not easy. Um, it's been 12 seasons, and and sometimes we take everything for granted. Um, being healthy, it's something something that uh, you don't really pay attention, but uh, it's hard. How difficult is it to process that the season is now over and that you know there isn't a tomorrow to play? It's painful. Uh, always when you finish the season, uh, and I think we had a good chance this season to really go in a deep run in a playoff. But uh, it is it is what it is, and I hope the lesson that we learned this season helps build the years to come. I think last year this team lost in a play-in and then came back with a 50-plus win uh, season and that's not easy to do. Uh, that's a hell of a season uh, and of course learning from playoff experience. Uh, some of the guys were the first time and um, learning that probably, I mean, I was still like if you ask all, all of us in the locker room, we felt like we're a better team than the Knicks, but they beat us, so they're a better team. And they beat us because uh, they're not more talented. It, they beat us because they wanted more than us. And I think this team had something special that when we were out there, we were competing against anybody, and we didn't do it this series, and we had to learn. Do you plan on playing for the Spanish national team this offseason? Season just finished yesterday, so I, I want to take my time. But uh, 
I think it, it will help my rhythm. It will help uh, myself. But I want to know. I'm going to meet with my team as well, my personal team, see what's the best for me um, in rehab and, 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 and that. Um, I think i got to get more even strength on my, on my lower legs, um, lower body, and, and see what's the best for me. But, um, of course, I always want to compete. Uh, World Cup is something special as well. Um, but um, I will take my time. Thanks, Daryl. It's a results business, unfortunately, especially when you know, it comes to this time of year. Um, JB's obviously getting a lot, a lot of uh, external criticism. Could you just maybe explain um, what makes him such a, a, a good coach for you guys, and, and really how he has helped get the best out of you guys as a team? He. I came here, I was in, um, I, I had the MX exit meeting right now. I say, well, I'm coming to a 22 game uh, win uh, team. I'm, I'm not really excited. But since day one, I fell in love with the culture that they built here. I fell in love with how JB treat everybody. Um, and it's something that, that's why I came back. Um, and of course, uh, when you see results, um, you you can look back and say, oh, I wish he could do this or that better. But at the end of the day, uh, in the heat of the moment, it's super hard to really uh, see it sometimes. And I think what he built here is something special. Uh, he's a, a great locker room guy. Um, the atmosphere that we come every day in practice, it's, it's smooth. It's not tension-wise. And that helps to really be consistent and build something for a long term instead of just results for today but tomorrow is going to be a, a bomb you know what i mean so it's something that i i think like i said before with different different stuff we take things for granted but having a coach who really listens to you who is willing to really uh, say this is my fault uh there's not much in the league that they can do that and i think this team uh is built for that. Of course, we want results and we will work hard for that. But it's not what is how we do it. And I think uh, that's the main focus with JB. What's the most important thing for a lot of these young guys that went through a playoff for the first time in their careers? What is a veteran who's been through this? I guess what's the most important thing for those guys to take? from this experience? Yeah, I was talking with DG at halftime last night, and um, one of the hardest things that you can do is going into the summer knowing that you didn't give your best shot uh, in all serious. Um, at that moment. I mean, it's not being your best version because uh, there's a lot of factors that being played, but in that moment you gave your best effort, and I think we didn't. Uh, we 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 got outplayed, uh, and that's something that it's painful going all summer, and, like working and going to the gym, uh, and remember those moments. Um, they got a lot of offensive boards, and uh, we didn't put nobody down. And and it's something that I think the pride, the 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 identity of this team is nobody outplayed will outplay us and uh, uh, it's something that it takes time to learn um, and I think this is a good experience and uh, tomorrow is a new day tomorrow is a new uh, beginning for next season. Danny, do you think that you ever got to 100% physically this year? Uh, physically not really uh, but it has to be everything, physically, mentally, and, 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 and rhythm of the game. And I didn't feel I, I got to any other, <laughs> of the other point. Uh, and like I said, coming in the middle of the season is super hard. Uh, being 12 months out, uh, it's not easy. And I'm proud that I came back, but I'm disappointed that, that uh, I didn't reach what I wanted. Uh, and the same thing that I say with the playoff, the same thing with myself. Uh, work hard this summer to really get to the point. You've obviously gone through that injury before. How important is this summer for you getting back to where you need to be? 
whether it's playing with the Spanish national team or just rehabbing on your own? Uh, super important. I think year two is, is, is the year that you throw yourself again. Um, I did it in 2012, and it, it took me longer than I expected, but uh, it was in, in a different role with more minutes, uh, and at the end of the day, I need playing time uh, to really feel myself, because you can like really uh, practice as much as you want, but playing is way different, and uh, to be back myself, I need a lot of playing time. Uh, there's a lot of techniques, um, but of course, I know who I am, and, and lucky I have 12 years back in my career to look back and, and, and see what I have done, uh, and it's not going to change. Uh, I want to get better, and uh, mentally, there's a lot of techniques nowadays, and uh, I use it, and I want to get better, and that's why... Um, I reached to a point, I think, last season before the injury where I was playing my best uh, year in 11 years in the league. Um, so I have no doubt that I can reach to that point again, uh, and I will work hard to get to, to there. Uh, of course, al always you need some help. Uh, you need to get in a rhythm uh, with the role, with the, with the team, and uh, have them trust you as well as you trust them. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, of course, I gain all the strength, but I still got strength to to be uh, gained. And, uh, and connecting the mind to the body as well, not being afraid to go out there and bumping knees or, or whatever. Uh, like I said, I get uh, in a rhythm, like most of the players in the league, when things are not going well, you go into a free throw line, get a couple of ones. Um, I didn't get that chance this year much. and and playing minutes, um, being there from the beginning, I think will help too. Um, so there's a lot of things that I think I'm excited and looking forward for next year.